What's going on guys? So today I wanted to make a video on some S2000 headlights on how to take them apart and the two options that you have to take them apart. So the first option is heat gun. That would be a good option if you have time, but I do not want to take my time doing that. That takes around, it could take two or three hours I would think um, to just keep going around and heating it and taking it apart little by little. So if you have patience and time, you could do that. But I'm gonna go the oven route which I think is the best route. It is the quickest if you do it right. So I have an example here. These are Spec D uh, headlights. They're the cheap option on eBay. They're like around, I don't know, like 200 bucks for both for the set, which is really good. And they look really cool. So these are from my S2000. They're the old ones that they had when I got the car. And as you can see, you know, they have spider webs and all this crap. So I kind of used this as a dummy on the oven and it ended up working really well. I put it for eight minutes at around 250. So, and that was way too much time. So I would recommend five minutes on 250 and you should be good. Cause I think this used a little bit cheaper glue. So, you know, it doesn't take that much heat for it to come off. So maybe a heat gun I would suggest on this one because I think it will go by a little bit quicker. So the whole point of doing this is to take this piece out and replace it with uh, these OEM headlights. So right here I have some OEM headlights, broken tabs. Where are the broken tabs? Right here, broken tab. So I bought two for pretty cheap price on eBay. And my plan is to replace it with a JDM uh, blinker uh, visor, I guess that's what it's called, I don't know. But um, I'm gonna change that out to a clear one. So let's get this started right now. Um, the only problem is that I do not know how much heat, how much time to use on this one. So I'm gonna start with five minutes at 250, just to see if the glue is a little bit about the same, which is kind of weak. I don't think it will, but I mean, it's worth a try. So I'm gonna try five minutes. I'm gonna start taking off all the crap so it doesn't melt, and then just put the headlight on by itself. So let's see how that goes. All right, so here I have them. So what I'm gonna do right now is preheat the oven. I kinda just put it at 250, preheat it, start. So I'm gonna do that, let it preheat to 250, just to get the process a little bit faster. Um, let it go to uh, 250 once it gets there then I'll put it in I will be putting it in with one of these uh, sheets just to uh, it has a little bit of a better uh, base instead of something like so it doesn't fall through those little gaps so uh, it holds it doesn't have to be anything uh, too crazy just make sure let me turn on the light here just make sure that uh, you lower the grill a little bit so it doesn't hit with the top that's uh, something that happened with the the cheap headlights that I have I didn't really care because I mean I was just testing it so just make sure you do that I accidentally uh, picked it up and when I was taking it out and this happened so just be careful with that because these could have been saved I think if I would have uh, done some sanding down and stuff because they're not cracked. It's just uh, really scratched, so they could have been saved. Nevertheless, just be careful once you're taking them out and putting them in. So let's let it get to 250. After the whole process is done, we'll see if it comes off fairly easy. So there you go, guys. Uh, I just finished uh, taking it apart. So what I did was preheat to 250 and then right as soon as it got to 250, put it in for five minutes. You can try five minutes and a half. Honestly, you can do six, just cause um, it, did, it does tend to like start hardening up once it's out fairly quick. So you gotta be kind of quick as you go. Just use one of these and just went around and got the areas where I could. First, remove, you start by removing the tabs. So just start removing the tabs first and then get in there and just like scrub you'll see it kind of come off and then just try to grab it from the front and just start pulling it off and it'll start uh, coming off uh, pretty easy. So now I'm just gonna do the other side and I'm gonna try six minutes this time to see if it uh, 
uh, does anything wrong with it. Uh, just to you know, confirm for you guys that you can do it for that long, uh, six minutes to 50. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alright guys, so you saw the process, hopefully I caught it all on camera, my other camera died and I had to shoot on my phone, but the process is fairly easy, I'm going to show you right now what's the easiest way to take it off, this is probably the easiest way, and it is of course start taking off every single tab, because if you don't, um, that will hold you back in the lens, uh, so you'll be stuck there trying to figure out why it's not coming off, it's because of the tabs. So make sure you take them all off before you even start. So you want to start in the bottom and just dig into there. This is what I use, by the way. I don't know if I've showed it, but this is what I'm using. Um, just dig in there and you'll see it and try to pry it off a little bit. Not too much where it'll break the other tabs or break anything. Just make sure there's a little gap enough to see that, you know, it's coming off. After that, I recommend going to the front of the lens so you can... Uh, uh, just you know so you can come off easily. I don't recommend try to go back here or you know other areas I recommend just going from the bottom to the top over here to the front and just start prying that off Because once you start prying this off it technically just it, it pretty much all comes off fairly easy You just start like pulling off and making sure the tabs are off because if not It's gonna hold it down and it's gonna cool off as well as the tabs So that's why you want to start with the tabs because it will cool off so you want to start just taking those out Look, you can see that they're bent and they're already cooled off. So they're gonna stay like that. Um, so the glue, um, it is a little bit stronger than the cheaper headlights, of course, uh, but it was, you know, fairly easy. So I would just recommend five and a half minutes at um, 250. So preheat it. Once it's uh, almost there, maybe 249, just put it in and do five and a half and it'll go, it'll go pretty easily. Um, I, I pretty much managed to take these off both together 
in 45 minutes. That's with me uh, setting up the camera and shooting, make sure I have a good angle. Hopefully I did, so you guys can see the process. Um, but yeah, guys, that's how you take it off. If you have any questions, please comment below and I will try to get to every single one. Um, I will try to put the description of what heat you need to use and the time. Uh, if you guys forget and just want to get a quick scroll and look what's going on and what's the time. But yeah, that's how you do it, guys. I don't know if I'm going to show the process of me putting these internals in the cheap headlight. Uh, maybe I will in a different video. We'll see. If it all works out, I will do, do that. Uh, I will do that so you guys can see how it's done. Um, but yeah, guys, please like and subscribe for more videos.